Okay, here's the question. Yes? What do you think is coming up right now? Could it be Destination Germany? A, a little more enthusiasm there. Could it be Destination Germany? Yes, it's Destination Germany! We're taking you on a journey somewhere in the country that is well worth a visit, whether you're a tourist or a permanent resident, a foreigner or a German citizen. We'll be here covering the famous sites as well as those little-known corners of Deutschland. All that matters is showing you that Germany is an interesting and exciting place to visit. So, if you enjoy the destinations that we talk about each week, go to our website, thisweekingermany.de, and we'll have photos of each week's destination. So, last week's destination, um, which we'll just recap before we get into this week's exciting destination, um, it did very well on Facebook, I tell you. I I'm posted- glad people liked it. I'm, I'm very happy that people liked it. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, I posted it on, on, on Facebook, and it was like, you know, thousands of people... Uh, read it. So, like, lots of people liked it and shared it, but behind the scenes, you can see when you're logged in to Facebook, you can see how many people uh, uh, saw it, and loads of people really liked this. So, we learned about this basically the coolest place in Berlin for the hottest days basically, a temperature controlled pool that is built into the River Spree. So, you're swimming on the River Spree, not in the Spree. Um, so, that's the, that's the river that runs through the, the capital city. And even if swimming isn't really your thing, you still might want to give this badership, badership or bathing ship, as it's uh, known in English. Um, you might want to give it a look because there's a whole variety of different events there and parties and they have like a beach there and barbecue evenings and concerts and everything. I think we should so, check it out. Yeah, yeah. It's it's really this definitely summer, cool. Yeah. yeah, I think so. And uh, yeah, I mean, what better than to be bathing in a river, but except not in the river, actually, in some clean water, which is temperature <laughs> controlled. So you get the best of both worlds. You feel like you're swimming in the river, but you're actually not. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. So go to uh, thisweekinjummy.de to have a look at the um, pictures of that and to read all about it and to listen to the clip from last week's program. But... That was last somewhere, week. Yeah, that was last week. We're going somewhere different this week. Well, this week, we're going to go back to the state of Bavaria. And in fact, to the capital city, Munich. Our destination this week will be Munich's Stadtmuseum, the city's municipal municipal museum that also happens to be the largest city museum in all of Germany. Okay, now you've got my attention because, I mean, there's lots of museums in Germany and they're very interesting, a lot of them. But um, this is the largest city museum in all of Germany. That's pretty cool. So, I mean, a lot of people, when they think of Munich, they think about Oktoberfest. Yeah. Um, and this kind of thing. But there's a lot more to, to Munich than that. Yeah, we haven't really done that much about Munich. Uh, and Munich does have a lot of really cool places to go. And I thought telling you about the city, like the actual city's museum, would be a good place to start. So, no better place than beginning and visiting the city museum to learn about a city. So, that's a great idea. So, if you want to learn about Munich, I guess this is the kind of place that you go to. So, what does the Stadtmuseum have to offer? First, this is no rinky-dink quaint little museum. As I mentioned, <laughs> rinky-dink. It's, yeah, it's, it's the city's uh, museum that tells you all about Munich, and it's also the biggest city museum in all of Germany. It consists of several wings and has multiple permanent exhibitions, as well as a few uh, limited-time special exhibitions that, are, that go on almost year-round, so things that are changing. That's very nice. So uh, what are the permanent exhibitions? Well, there are currently four permanent uh, exhibitions that I want to give you a clip glimpse, a clip glimpse of uh, what uh, each one is. <laughs> First, there's one called Typically Munich, and this exhibit gets a lot of attention from visitors, and it tells all about the city of Munich. Learn how the city got started and how it got to what it is today. Aside from the history lesson, you'll also get to learn about what makes the city like give it that that personal. Uh, sort of touch. You can learn about uh, Munich's fashions, traditions, and folklore and really see what is inside of the city. That's really cool because when a lot of people think of like a German stereotype, they're actually thinking of Bavarian stereotypes, so the Lederhosen and this kind of thing. The Drindles. The Drindles. Dir- Drindles. Drindles. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so I think a lot of people would be very interested in that. People coming from outside of Germany to to see that, that would be pretty cool. So what are the other permanent exhibitions? Well, number two is a exhibition that's all about musical instruments from all over the world. So this isn't just about Munich, but it is instruments from, from everywhere. And they have over 6,000 different types of instruments from very old to very modern. And you might scratch your head at a few of them, wondering how some of them even work. 
There's also an exhibition about um, National Socialism, right? The Nazis. Yes, uh, you can learn about the what's going on pretty much in Munich in terms of National Socialism between 1918 and 1945. And this was a city where it was pretty much the launch pad for the National Socialist Movement. And the last permanent exhibition? Uh, <laughs> the last one, or at least uh, for now, uh, is a... Puppet theaters and fairground attractions. Oh, exhibit. that sounds a bit yeah. creepy. <laughs> so, so if you like strange, creepy wooden puppets and mechanical <laughs> contraptions that you might take a few minutes to figure out what they actually do, this is the place for you. I and can't think I, of anything I per- better. <laughs> <laughs> I personally think it looks amazing. Okay, so um, there are also some special exhibitions as well. So, um, yeah, what can people see around about now or in the near future? Well, there's a there's a few that are going on right now, and like I said, this place is really big. Right, two of them are both photographers that take uh, portraits of people that are not quite in the mainstream. One photographer is showing people that are kind of on the, the fringes of society, maybe uh, people that are from mental institutions or just work way out in the middle of nowhere, and the other focuses on runaways, homeless, and punk rockers. Okay. There's cool. also something I think is really cool is there's a sound lab, sound lab that is a part of the music section of the museum that I was telling you about earlier. And here you can test out a bunch of different types of instruments and a, a, just an experiment with a lot of different ways to create different types of sounds. Have you um, been to Munich before? I have only been there for a few hours. It was kind of like a, a train layover. So we got to spend a little bit of time in the city, just kind of wandering around and looking at things, but I never really got to really dive into the city and see what makes it up. Yeah, the same with me. I wasn't there for very long, but when I was there, it looks really beautiful. Munich is a, is a, is a great city to go to, so I highly recommend it for all you um, tourists based in Germany, or if you're planning a trip, then include Munich in your in your trip as well. And for the destination, if you want to find out more about what the Munich Stadt Museum looks like, go to our website thisweekingermany.de and we'll have some photos up there to, to show you what it looks like.